Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Just going to have one of our light weekend chats here. Looking like I'm going to get some rain here. We had rain yesterday, so maybe the heat is breaking. Perfect timing too. It's a Saturday. I just finished getting my son about half an hour ago and it's a lazy day like most weekends are. Although I'm being kind of productive. I'll be having some uh, I'll, be, I'll probably try this out in the next couple of days. I got my first smartphone yesterday, bought it, or bought it the day before, and um, I'm geeking out. Now, don't get me wrong. I detest seeing people walking around. I don't text. I don't talk on the phone. That's Basically, that's teenage stuff. I used to do that when I was a kid. Well, I didn't text. We just talked on the phone, but I'm getting geeked out on the camera part. I was uh, doing, watching a couple of YouTube videos to try to figure something out yesterday. And um, I got totally tripping last night into some videos about all the stuff you can do. And if there's any of you guys out there, I think I'm going to do one little video that just like shares a few tips. Because that's what this channel is about. Even for other YouTubers, people that are doing stuff. I know some people use their iPhones. Or do a few searches on YouTube. So there's a few little tricks, tips, a couple of apps you can get that you can really do some crazy stuff. I've seen some people, I'm all thinking about like trying to do some little really serious little videos on um, iPhones. Anyhow, you guys don't want to hear about my iPhone. I was listening to, you know, um, watching some videos this morning, watching some videos last night, just a weekend. And, uh, I, you know, I just see people saying things all the time, all the time, all the time. I don't go on the Internet one day without hearing this kind of train of thought. Everybody, what is the right way to do the high-carb vegan lifestyle? Well, everybody sure seems to have an opinion on that, and they all think that theirs is the right way to the exclusion of everything else. I don't know. I mean, just, you know, really, realistically, is that realistic? Is that realistic that all, every one of us humans on the planet, we're going to eat the same? And is it realistic that this person over here that's a YouTuber has found the perfect formula, the exact formula, exactly how we were all supposed to eat? And then everybody else should kind of fall in line because, you know, well, Billy Bob said so. He, this is the way we're supposed to eat. And come on, I mean, if you watch any amount of videos out there, if you interact on the Internet, how much contradictory info do you hear every single day? And they're very, they're very, um, they're, they're passionate about it. They could all make you believe, you know, believe their side. But you can have somebody that's that passionate fighting this, and then another right across over here, you got somebody the opposite saying something else. So, I don't know. What is your thought on this? I think it's, um, I think it's ridiculous to think that everybody, every circumstance, eats the same. And you know, I just hear these blanket statements all the time, and I'm just like. And, you know, I don't know, some people, people get excited about this stuff and, you know, as humans, we want to be right. I think there's some sort of a psychological, as humans, we need to be right or we need to be smarter than the, than the other person. I don't know, whatever it is, but it's just I hear all these statements like, um, like and I'm not even going to use any specifics because I think they're all from every aspect. I think there's raw vegans that are not jobs. I think there's cooked food vegans that are not jobs. And why did I say that? Not because of how they think, but because of their mentality of this is the only way to do it. That's the only reason. I just, I've always, I've always been suspicious of anybody that just claims like they have the way and that's the way and this is the only way and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, like if, if you eat it, don't eat this, this is poison. This is, this is bad. Nobody should touch this. Everybody needs to eat this. You hear it in the raw world. You hear, you know, the raw vegans, like I say, even though I'm a raw vegan, I think the raw vegans are more guilty than, than many. You know, everything. They're almost like, if you look at your history back a couple of, I don't know my history that well, a couple, 300 years ago, they're the Puritans. The Puritans believed in no fun. They did it very, they were very stern. They dressed very stern. They act in a certain way all the time. And anything else was sinful. Well, sometimes you just get that feeling from the raw vegans. It's almost like you just want to say, dude, lighten up a little bit. And then, you know, you get it on the cook side, too. It's like, oh, that's ridiculous. That raw veganism, um, there's no way you can do that. It's not sustainable. You can't sustain. You can't get enough calories. You can't get everything you need on a raw vegan lifestyle. And then you have the people that are outside of our circle that are just telling you, no, it's, uh, the vegan diet itself is incomplete. But everybody is so sure about what they're telling you. Um, 
you know. And that's why I like to watch. I've told you guys from the beginning, I watch a variety of people. Um, and I watch people for various reasons. I know a lot of you guys don't like them out there. Some people don't, some people do. Now, that's, they're ones that are really polar. That's why I like Freely and Harley. They, are, they do kind of keep me in tune with that whole uh, cook side. Don't agree with everything they say. Um, and then, you know, I have my raw vegan people that I watch. That I don't agree with everything they say because I just can't really get behind this one, this one size fits all. Um, and, and, the, and once again, the splitting of the hairs, like we've talked about this. The world is, eat, the general world is eating garbage. They're eating crap. And here we are trying, you know, we just want to try to get people to be in a bit healthier, not killing animals. And we try to bit, split hairs and do all these forms of extremism for, you know, uh, for the high carb vegan uh, lifestyle. And when it really boils down to it, is there really, are all these little splitting of hairs, are they really like that crucial? Now, yeah, you've got to find it for yourself, and I do have my beliefs. I know what seems to feel better, what seems to work better for me. Um, but I can't sit here and say, you've got to do like, like no, you're not eating like this. This person's not doing what I'm doing, so there's no way that they can be healthy. I mean, just think about like, um, okay, should I necessarily be eating exact, like somebody that has diabetes? Should I be eating like following the same diet as somebody that has, say, Crohn's or colitis? or the autoimmune disorders. I mean, those are some very specific things that I think there are specific methods of eating for, to allow the body to heal itself when you have those conditions or illnesses. And I don't have those condi conditions or illnesses, so sometimes it's like, you know, I, I don't have to be as careful about, I can digest things, you know. They have to watch about things they can't um, digest. I don't have to do that. God, this kid across the street does nothing but wail the whole day. Oof. Glad I don't. Glad I'm a single guy. A childless single guy. But yeah, I mean, I don't have those problems. Um, okay, how about location? People seem to kind of make comments every once in a while, like, and I don't, please, I want you to understand something. I live in the tropics. I eat because, I, how I do, because I live in the tropics. I'm never saying to anybody, I don't try to give that vibe or promote everybody like, Oh, everybody's supposed to move to the tropics. That's, everybody's different, you know, everybody's got their thing. But I would say, like, you know, there's sometimes um, places that maybe raw vegan, fully raw vegan, is just not for you if you're going to continue to live where you live. I mean, there's just some places it is, I've had even a few comments like, and I appreciate that, and they're not doing raw vegan, and I understand that. They're like, you know, I live in a place where I can get fresh fruit about one month, two months out of the year, just to get enough really fresh food. Um, and I don't even know if some of these people have the option, even if they spend a lot of money, but there's just some places where I'm sorry. If you're not going to move from there, if you've got, you know, if you're locked in, you got to stay there, it's just not terribly practical to try to be a fully wrong vegan. Um, I think, you know, in those circumstances, whether even somebody that would argue that a fully raw vegan is the most beneficial lifestyle. Well, this person doesn't live there, so I guess you would have to adapt. You know, you can't live in the Arctic Circle and and you know eat a fully raw uh, diet. Um, so you know that's when I see people that are doing like the starch solution. They eat rice, they eat potatoes, they eat all these things. They're not things I eat. The rice, especially the rice. I don't even you know when I go to the states, I eat cooked food. I eat my potatoes. Uh, I don't eat rice. I don't care for rice. I'm not big into the grains. I'm not a grain hater. I'm not ready to say there's a lot of the world, and that's one thing that Durian Ryder says. I mean, that I agree with. There's the, there's Asian countries. There's African countries. They're all lean. They don't have the disease that the Western culture countries have, and they're pretty much thriving. They're lean people, and their their diet is based largely on a lot of these. Like you know, a lot of the world eats rice, so. Whereas I don't think rice is the highest. I don't eat rice. I just don't really like rice. I've stopped eating rice quite a while or not very much before I even got into the raw vegan uh, thing. So, but yeah, I can't sit here. There's no way I would feel foolish even trying to sit here with a straight face and tell you, your oh, rice is horrible. You can't be eating rice. Get the, listen, the, 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 most of the world is not vegan. Most of the world's not going to become vegan. So if you're trying to get people to this very stringent place of 
fully raw vegan with none of these things. That's just so unrealistic. Now, for yourself, you follow what you think your body tells you to do. I'm talking about what's realistic. I want to reach out to as many people as possible. So even what I'm doing, what I'm eating today, I love this. I know I feel good eating the way that I'm eating in this period. But, but if I was to preach this to the masses, to the world, it's just not realistic. Because most people are not going to, you know, they're not going to go to living from what they've come from to go to living on two of the, you know, two pitchers of this green swamp water looking stuff a day, albeit being very tasty, eating nothing but fruits, eating 20 something bananas. Just that, you know, still, I don't get a lot of people that give me grief, but when I tell somebody 20 plus bananas, I might as well have a second head on my shoulder. They look at me like I'm something from another planet. So, um, you know, it's just not, even though this is a very, I feel like I'm getting dialed in and I feel really good what I'm doing right now, it's just not, I couldn't realistically expect everybody to do that. And it's just, you know, like I say, these are just a few examples, but it's just not a one size fits all. Um, so I think if we would just work on not, ref not worrying so much about refuting each other and like trying to hone this thing down to the never ending battle of, it's almost like, all the YouTubers and all the, the famous and the name people out there, it's like, and the various uh, branches of this high carb vegan thing, they're all fighting for your hearts and souls and minds. They want you to come to their side. Sometimes I think it's more about promotion and, um, and something, some sort of gains, even whether it's not financial, just like to be like, look at me, me, me. That there's some that there's things like that that are more important than the actual health. Um, all I want to promote to people is, like I say, I want to promote health to people. I want to get people away from where they're the way they're eating today. I want to get them the hell out of them at the McDonald's and eating eating crap, processed food in the store. You know, I don't necessarily need to bring somebody to uh, my particular philosophy. If you if you start living a healthier lifestyle and you stop now I would like, I do as much as possible try to encourage people though, once you get into the vegan, you know, then that's for you to dabble with. I do greatly encourage people to um, come into the vegan lifestyle because you know, more, even more for me, more so than just being about uh, health, being about the diet, um, I care about the animals, I care about the planet. Like I say, that's kind of flip-flopped in the time that I've been on this lifestyle. Um, got into it for the health, but you know, the animals, they just, I, I see things every day and I just, well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter which is the most important or whatever, but yeah, the animals have kind of come to the forefront. But once we get people to be in vegan for the ethical reasons, um, then, you know, find your footing, see what works for you. Um, don't, don't get swayed by the biggest, the best talker out there, the smoothest talker, the person that you maybe that's the best looking person or the person that just somehow in other words think about the facts and think about how the facts apply to you instead of just following you know being a follower because i mean to be quite honest and i think i'll go back i quoted this one time and it was happy healthy vegan ryan was doing a video and he was just, he was talking about and they do rotel four and they do very clean rotel four and he was talking about how you know i think something similar to how we you know we split the hairs on should you eat this should you eat that just being a high carb vegan cuts out something like 13 of 15 of the major causes of death or, or greatly uh, reduces your risk of getting um, those major causes of death and disease. So once, we, once you come into the high carb vegan world, yes, there are details and I don't want to, hey, I'm not going to do start solution. That's not knocking somebody else that does it. I just have no calling towards that. but. I'm not going to sit here and go, yeah, that's not, that's just not a right diet. When we're in, you know, when we're, if, when we're eating a whole food plant-based diet, um, we're so much ahead of the rest of the world and we're in a healthy place. Yes, I believe that what I'm doing is healthier than, um, for me, than what some of the other people are doing, but I can't preach that theirs is, theirs is totally worthless. Um, uh, different modalities, different modalities for healing. I'm going to leave you a little, this, this quote is pretty apropos. You might have to think about this a little bit if you don't read very much. Um, when I was starting to get ready for this uh, talk, I, I, I could remember an old Nietzsche. Nietzsche? Any of my German, anybody from Germany that watches out there, I'll butcher the name even though I've read him for years. I don't ever hear people pronounce his name. Nietzsche? Nietzsche? Frederick? 
guy with the big crazy mustache. The most dangerous party member. In every party, there is one who, through his all too credulous avowal of the party's principle, incites the others to apostasy. I'll read that one more time slowly for you in case you want to hear it back over again. The most dangerous party member. In every party, there is one who, through his all too credulous avowal of the party's principles, incites the others to apostasy. I like Nietzsche. I was a philosophy minor. I just thought that one kind of fit in there. I'll let you think about that a little bit. Anyhow, looks like it's going to maybe rain here. I need to go downtown, so I'm going to get out of here. Probably get caught in the rain, but I'm going to see if I can beat the rain. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in with me this weekend. Um, good to check in on a nice slow day. I hope all of you guys are having a great weekend, and I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.